Rebasing DAOs are dead. I know that this might be an unpopular opinion, but that's how I feel right now. Maybe it's that they only work in bull markets. I don't know, but in the current market structure, they simply do not work. Sure, they might have half a billion dollar treasuries and half a billion dollar market caps with quote unquote guaranteed backings with 81,000% APYs. But guys, that's just their marketing scheme to reel us in. We have been bamboozled. All those impressive numbers do not pan out for the community like you and I. The people at the top, the creators, the people actually running these are becoming millionaires. But the people at the bottom, like you and I, the people actually holding up these DAOs, we're the ones losing. So is it time to face the music and take our losses and move on? Or should we stick around to see how things play out? <sighs> Let's dive in and take a look at it. So of course, we're gonna start out with the OG of the rebasing DAO space, which is of course, Olympus DAO. Olympus DAO is currently promising 1,054% APY. Of course, this is constantly changing. They currently have a market cap of $588 million. The ohm price is at $61 and the backing per ohm is at $55, which is very interesting. Treasury assets have 521 million and their runway available currently sits around 635 days. If you pull up the chart from its all time high, which was set at around 1,366 back in October to where we are now, we're currently down about 95%. If we look at the high from the last run to the top in October 14th, which was around 1,366, we are down 95%. If we look from the time that I got in was around here was around that 250 area. I am down 92%. Even with all my dollar cost averaging, which I ended up averaging out my price to around 423. That puts me down about 85%. And if we just look at it month by month, you'll see in December, it went down 63%. And then in January, it went down 79%. And my favorite chart to look at here is just this red waterfall. This is 14 weeks in a row of the price just dropping. The funny part is that Ohm didn't even have that seafood drama yet. They're down more than Wonderland. Time Wonderland's only down 86%. Ohm is down 95% with no drama. I have officially pulled out my investments from Olympus Dow because I have watched this for 14 weeks straight just drop. I've watched the backing price continue to fall lower and lower and lower. I mean, the, the backing price could eventually go all the way down to one. So just because there's a backing price, I've learned that that really doesn't mean anything. The price will still fall below it. And then the backing price will drop lower Then the price again will fall below it. Then the backing price will drop lower price will fall below it. Then the backing price will drop lower. And it's just a continuous loop where we are essentially chasing our tails and and trying to catch something that we will never catch. If you judged by their Twitter, you would think that they were doing amazing, right? They dropped a new action plan. They have new partnerships an educational series, more partnerships, more partnerships, great communication on everything that's going on, more partnerships, more bonds and partnerships, and just basically nonstop, right? If you just continue scrolling, you will see nonstop partnerships, bonds, incubators, all sorts of great communication, basically everything the opposite of Wonderland. Yet, we're still down 95%. We still were down 79% in January alone. I honestly think it was a pretty creative experiment, but it obviously does not work. Sure, it works for them, for the platform, but it doesn't work 
for the community. It doesn't work for us. According to my calculations here, if I were to leave my money in Olympus, if, it's a big if, the price stayed the same, I would be break even at the end of July, the start of August. So basically six to seven months to break even, plus the time I've already spent in the protocol, nine months to break even. Of course, if price goes lower, that means I would have to wait even longer. If price went higher, then of course, this would be a shorter time. But does anything on this chart convince you or make you feel confident that the price is gonna go back up? Price has set new lows and is now in price discovery. Its backing price is currently at $55 and I'm pretty sure we will see $55 and below soon. Then the backing price is gonna fall even lower and it's just going to continue with that loop. <clears throat> now you can pretty much say the same thing about the majority of these Wonderland has the same issue, you know, regardless if you're looking at W memo, which is supposed to be more stable, it's down 86%. Or if you look at time, which this year alone is down 92%. If we measured it from its all time high in November, it's down 97%. So in this one, anyone that's invested in it is underwater at this point. The only people that have made any money in this are the people running it. They've promised airdrops. They've promised all sorts of things that just have never happened. They have terrible communication. They wanted to shut the platform down. Just so many issues with the, with this protocol, right? And this one is down basically the same as Olympus Dow, which has had no problems. How about Hector Dow that promised so many things to start off the year, right? Well, that's also down 96%. Year to date alone, it's down 66%. So what happened there? Who knows? How about Klima? Well, this one's down 98%. I don't even know if it's still a working DAO, to be honest. And the list just goes on and on and on for every rebasing DAO that you pull up. So to me, this shows me one of two things, right? Either one, it just plain does not work. There, need, there needs to be changes. Something has to be altered or people just shouldn't be investing in this. Or two, it only works in bull markets. It only works when prices across the board are going up because without the constant money coming in, the house of cards collapses. So currently for myself, I pulled out my investments out of all Dow projects except Wonderland. It's the only one I'm still in because we're still under the backing price. I'm holding hope here that the price goes back up to backing price and then that I can get out at that point. But I've been watching this backing price fall lower and lower every single day. A few weeks ago, this was up over $50,000. Then it dropped to 40 and now it dropped to 35 and the memo price is at 19,000. So if I can at least sell my position for this backing price, I will happily get out of it, cut my losses at that point, basically 70% loss. So that's the only reason that I'm still in this position. There's just been so much going on here. And this is definitely the Dow that I do not want to be in, but I am stuck, right? So the only reason I've held so far is because we're still way below the backing price. I'm hoping that they buy back and get the price back over uh, 35,000. At that point, I am probably getting out. We will reevaluate once it gets to that, but that is the only doubt that I'm still currently invested in. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Tell me what you think about these DAOs. Are the rebasing DAOs dead? I definitely don't recommend anyone putting money into them right now because even being under the backing price doesn't mean that it's gonna get back to the backing price. And even if you're buying at the backing price, like Olympus, for example, doesn't mean that the backing price is not gonna drop even lower. I am personally tired of running in circles, chasing my tail. So I am trying to pull out of all of these projects as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications and smash the like button. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below if you agree or disagree with me. We are of course all entitled to our own opinions. I can only speak from my own perspective, my own experience. And if you have any other questions, of course, drop it in the comments. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you on the next one. As always, peace and love.